All right, looks like this is the place. Hey, hey guys. guys, welcome to Ultraviolet. Thank you. Yes. Good to have you here. Yeah, this is our um, pilot production plant where we're scaling up on the motorcycles. Previously used to be a factory for some mechanical components. We sort of have taken it about three years back and have um, retrofitted the place to be conducive for our battery line and the vehicle assembly line. So what we have out here is the entire facility with the vehicle assembly line and the battery manufacturing line. These are the fully built out battery modules that are loaded up at the start of the vehicle line. And essentially everything coming together here is, you know, um, a lot of it is actually made in India. We have about 150 different suppliers across the country, about 1,500 parts coming together. And from the mechanical elements, the aluminum, you know, the PCBs, everything is being produced in India and it all comes together. In fact, just to give you a sense of, you know, what this means, behind us, this way, is where the batteries are being manufactured. So you see a lot of automation there and there, which is the batteries are being, are being subject to about 10,000 amps flowing in less than 10 microseconds. So if you look at it in terms of value that is made in India, it is predominantly almost over 70% of it is actually made in India and the number of parts, right, it's over 90%. So the only three parts that come from outside India today are the cells within the battery, battery packs, the semiconductor chips, which are, you know, on the BMS and the PCBs and the magnets within the motors, right? And if you look at the rest of the vehicle, if you talk about, you know, the entire assembly of the PCBs, you talk about, you know, the battery management system, the enclosures, the aluminum, the suspension, the swing arm, the plastics, the frames, the displays, it, it all comes together and that's from parts from India as well. And only the commodity three parts which I mentioned are coming from outside India. So here we've got the primary lines and on the side we've got the substations. So the, a lot of the sub-assemblies are put together here and they come onto the line. These are both 7 and uh, 10 kilowatt hour battery packs. You think I could lift one? <laughs> you could give it a shot, but it's about 50, 50 kgs plus. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, stage 2, we bring the motor mounts onto the battery box. So that's a motor mount. There's an internal gearing assembly as well. So here's where you see the main frame uh, coming together with the motor mount. Now the next stage is completing the frame assembly getting the wheels in place. We call this the rolling chassis. The rolling chassis is where now the vehicle's got the wheels in and you can now sort of get a sense of the whole vehicle coming together from the mechanicals of the vehicle. So this is subline one. Now we've got a hoist. You see the hoist here? So this is going to hoist the vehicle from subline one to the main line. And here's where the rest of the wiring harness, the electronics, electricals um, and the final body panels start to come into place. So what you're seeing here is, you can see the lighting systems, that's a motor controller and what he's working on is some of the wiring on the um, parts of the harness itself. And here, you've seen the VCU come into place. You see that? The top of the vehicle has only the motor controller. And now we've got all the brackets coming in, all the wiring has come in. And that component there, that box there is the VCU. And on the left is the charging, uh, Type 6 charging connector. So now the lights, lights are in place, the indicators are in place as well. And what he's torquing is the brackets on which the fork guard um, assembles. So here we come to the Ultraviolet X47. This is the vehicle that we launched a couple of days back. And um, what you see here, I mean, the battery and the motor, the power chain is the same, but the rest of the chassis and the electronics is completely different on the X47. So one of the fundamental differences is this casted frame. On the X27, you see the same pipes going all the way back. This is a new casted structure that can take a lot of weight 
uh, especially for the long distance touring rides when you load the load your side bags in the top box etc the architecture is very different the rider footrest and the pillion footrest is also mounted on one single casted the uh, structure and this is a naked motorcycle so you tend to see a lot more of the of the battery pack systems um, now you see the body panels coming together in place here. all of it has now come together and now the rest of it is um, validating the electronics and then taking it into um, inspection so now you can see with the headlights on the vehicles are live so this is the first time the vehicle is powered on and the motorcycle is good to go these are the final few stations where the firmware updates are done so the bike is customized to the person who's bought it if they've enabled any you know uh, software features or wireless ai and a bunch of features they all get enabled out here and then the final panels are coming together what you can see here it's the new x47 and uh, as we go through the next steps you'll see the vehicles fully live and ready and functioning and it's it's driven off the line for the first time so the bike is uh, off to the next test which is a dyno test uh the bike will go for all the running uh, the wheels will be charged the battery will be charged running tells you about the sense of how is the performance of the bike uh so here's the rider we will he specialized to do all these tests one by one so this is basically to understand about the the, the wheels the the vcus the motors which is there inside is all running perfectly uh it, it calculates the various speeds how is the torque value how is the performance in terms of consumption everything comes onto the screen uh once it is done it will show you it is good to go and it's just like a road test right you typically would like to go on the road so we made it as a dyno which is actually with the motorized system rather than going and putting it onto the road and checking it uh, the, the the functioning of the bike So after this dyno tests the bike actually is fully tested validated as good as it is gone out outside in a real world uh, check right ridden and then it comes to this stage where you see a bright light it's a final inspection where the bike actually goes through a final visual check by the inspector here right and uh, it goes for all the small small checks even to a point of scratches you know any dents any physical issues on the body right which can be perceived by the customer when he sees the bike uh, it it has to give a wow function you know it has to give a wow when the when the when the customer sees it so the entire checks happens over here any defect which is found here uh, is actually then uh, redone right over here so that you know it, it doesn't go to the customer at all so these boxes here are all part of the europe shipment I believe these are headed out to France. So each one contains one F77, and one container load carries about 18 to 20 vehicles from our side. So a few containers have already hit Europe. Deliveries have started, and now this is, I think, the third shipment that is heading out from us. It's been an eight-year journey for us to come from the idea stage to now conceptualizing to production, and now taking it across the world. So making India for the world, and I think for us this. um fits that you know vision that we started the company with and of course from the government side and all of that there is a lot of interest in indian tech and design now going global so good example of uh, that i guess